in San Antonio right now. We'll be up around 91 this afternoon. Sunny skies today, tomorrow. A little bit of added cloud cover Sunday, Monday, but no big deal. Uh, that'll bring temperatures down just a little bit. And overnight lows will be in the low 60s. All in all, I'd say that's a, that's a dub for us. <laughs> <laughs> a win. <laughs> oh, Lots man. Of there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we know what the uh, SA Live is all about. They're all about dubs, <laughs> wins, right? Yeah, always. Uh, SA Live starts right now. <laughs> and today on the SA Live, it is National Coffee Day, and we have Java Jen taking us to a local roastery with unique coffee blends. Plus, this Texas native country singer performs his new single for us, and we show the location of his single release party. And how to care for your fall plants this season organically while keeping those unwanted little pests out of your garden and taking care of the good ones. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, I love that. Hello and happy Thursday on this National Coffee Day. We have to practice that. We need, we need to, anyway. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. All right. Well, you know, uh, you know, our first guest today is helping us get a jolt of caffeine to celebrate, as we just told you, National Coffee Day. Yes, indeed. And Tony Shaber from one of the co-owners of What's Brewing Coffee Roasters is here with new seasonal menu items and just a... a so much information about coffee that we never realized. Yes, like, absolutely. No. It's like a walking coffee dictionary yes. over here. So, a little right. bit. Yeah. so what did you bring today? Today we've got a Guatemalan calling max. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother actually went to Guatemala about six months ago to visit the farm, meet the owners, meet the families that's running the farm, walk through, see the flowers on the trees, and uh, just get an idea of where the coffee's coming from. And, and what we've got today is a pour over of our Guatemala Kali Max, and we had the we actually had a, a release party last night where we premiered the coffee, and the, we had the grower at the at the at the warehouse. We had a big now party. For, go ahead. You, you go directly to the source, right? Absolutely. For our for our seasonal uh, releases, we go to the farms. We go to the different countries of origin, and we meet the farmers and, and the families that grow the coffees. Which is great to go directly to them and and avoiding all the the middlemen and everything like that, right? Yeah, and, and learning the story, learning the background, and and I mean just the topology and, and the, the soil conditions, it's all very important about what comes out into the final cup. All right, let's right. have a taste of that. Sure. And, and this is gonna taste a whole lot different than the uh, the big pot of just store-bought stuff. I a little bit, yeah. We, this was roasted three days ago, and like I was saying, coffee, once you roast it, you have about two to three weeks uh, before it starts going stale. It's like a produce oh, or wow. a loaf of bread. Now, in this, this Guatemala, it's high grown. You're gonna get a lot of citrus notes. You're gonna get chocolate notes. You're gonna get some nuttiness as well in the finish. And this does well in a cold brew or as just a, you know, a percolator or a, uh, just a drip coffee. And so just roasted three days ago, and that's key, right, to knowing when something is roasted. So if folks have that big tub of coffee mm -hmm. sitting still in their pantry, yes. explain it's, why that loses its, uh, we, you know, you know za, -za zoo over time, right? So <laughs> what we, we actually receive the coffee when it's green, and we cook it or roast the coffee, and that, that carbonizes all those sugars, and that's what gives you the kind of uh, all those crom complex caramel and chocolatey flavors. But unfortunately, once you do roast it, the timer is really ticking. You have about two to three weeks before you start losing the aroma, and the aroma is what leads to all those great flavors with coffee. And you said there's basically two different types of coffee beans. The ones that are grown en masse, right. that's the, the quantity, we'll say, Robusta. and then yep. the quality. Right? Arabica is the one that's difficult to grow. It's on the sides of mountains, very steep. You can't use cultivators to harvest. All the cherries ripen at different stages. Everything's hand-picked. So there's a reason why there's a higher price tag on gourmet coffees uh, than there are with the Robustas, because they, Arabicas have to be shaded. They have to be grown on the side of a mountain. They have to be between 55 degrees and, and the hottest they can get is up, up in the high 80s. After that, the leaves burn and the trees die. So there's very specific conditions to grow good coffee. The high maintenance good coffee. Yes. Yeah. 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 You also have some really good coffee drinks coming in here for fall and perfect for Halloween as well, right? Yeah, we have a spooky drink, our Monster Matcha, and it's actually not coffee, sorry, it's National Coffee Day, but um, it is Halloween, so we, we decided to do this one. Um, it is our green matcha tea with some vanilla syrup and then white chocolate syrup so we've made spooky colors. We've got chocolate and two white chocolates, and then we just pour the, the matcha on top 
and that's got about as much caffeine as a regular cup of coffee. So okay. we still, we're still representing the caffeine. Okay. Yeah. And then which one am I doing here? That is the candy cane mocha. It's with a, the red syrup is the white chocolate. And then we have a peppermint flavored uh, mocha coffee in the pitcher. Mm -hmm. And all of these are available at our drive through and Rhapsody location. That's our warehouse location. When you go to your place, about how many different types of coffees oh, uh, do you have there as far as coffee beans and ones to, to sample and you can take home? It depends on the time of year because, like I said, these coffees are seasonal. We order small batches, so we Ooh. might, but generally between 20 and 30 different coffees at any given time, plus the blends, plus the flavored coffees. So we're probably looking at hundreds of combinations that you can order. Okay. Oh, our bean bar specifically has 30 at our warehouse location. Mm -hmm. That's our HQ. That's where we do all of our roasting. So you can come in, see the roasting operation Monday through Friday, and actually take home a pound of the coffee that we just roasted. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then drink it within about two weeks. Two that's, to three weeks. That's, that's about the, yeah, the, and, then, yeah. and then you're headed back okay. into Folgers territory. And, and you yeah. described that drinking <laughs> coffee is almost like uh, drinking wine. Absolutely. So when you're tasting coffee, and you can, if you want, you can try yeah. it like this. I'll, I'll show you. We cool. actually slurp the coffee, and that's to add oxygen to it in, the, in your mouth space. So what you want to do is... Well, that does enhance the flavor. Yeah. Right. So you're kind of aerating it. It's covering your palate better. Coffee's all about aroma. So, so it's not rude to slurp your coffee. It's not yeah, rude. Like, no. <laughs> Thank no. you very much. Absolutely. That's fancy. Thank you. Okay. For more information on what's brewing, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the SE on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. So, all right. A lot of folks like a good cup of joe. Mm -hmm. So we want to know. Give a shout out to your favorite local coffee shop. Tag us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer in the show. Mine is the pot on my counter. I was going to say, the nearest one is the dearest one. Not pre-programmed <laughs> in the morning when I get up at 2 o'clock. It uh, wrecks my whole day. So anyway, <laughs> let us know, and hopefully maybe we can try them out sometime. So, All right, how about another cup of coffee on top of that? Yes, please. Our Java Jen uh, is out at Texas Grounds Coffee Company. Hey there, Jen. Hey, I love that, Fiona. The nearest one is the dearest one. I'm all about that. Yes, and we are all about supporting local. We're here at Texas Grounds Coffee Co. And they have a new location, been open about a month now. I have Jennifer Howard, one of the owners, joining me now. Tell me what's going on here. We are super excited. Our second location is just a month old, but we are rocking and rolling. We have a drive through Come see us in Holotus. We're serving up wood-fired bagels, tons of varieties. We make all of our cream cheese here in-house. And then of course, our bakery is still located in Old Town Holotus, and one of our most famous treats are our cream puffs. So if you take a look right here, we're gonna add that chocolate right there oh, for you. Oh my goodness. And you can get a drive-through <laughs> cream puff. So um, besides the cream puffs and our fantastic bagels, we also roast in-house every day yes. fresh. And so you can grab a bag of freshly roasted coffee and um, we do whole bean and ground in everything that we make. And you have some coffee coming here. So these are your fall drinks. This is Philip, by the way, the How other owner. Hey, Philip. So what do we have here, guys? So we have our pumpkin spice latte. It's a classic, but we actually do it all year long. And then we also have our white pumpkin, which is white chocolate and pumpkin spice. But you can mm. also get it blended. So that is something super special that we um, provide here. And if you come in, you have a deal right now, right? If you buy and we purchase do, coffee. Yeah. If you mm -hmm. buy three bags, you get the fourth bag free. So you can mix and match. We have lots of different flavors. We have different single origins and blends. And I think Philip's also going to do some latte art for us as he well. He is, yes. But what are some other flavors that people come in for here at this location? Um, some of our most favorite um, definite uh, get has must get is uh, our Samoa latte. And that Ooh. can be blended as well. It's just like a Girl Scout cookie. So yeah. it's caramel, coconut, and mocha. And that's fantastic especially with whipped cream and a drizzle on there. And then we also have um, our very popular apple pie latte, which is amazing Ooh. as well, yes. Oh my goodness, that's mm -hmm. great all year long. Yes, sure. And then, all right, Philip's gonna show us his, his, his latte art See what we have. skills. <laughs> And now this location, oh, that's beautiful. Is that a heart, Philip? Yes. Oh, oh, beautiful. Thank you, guys. We always put love into all of our drinks. Now, your other location is still up and running, super cute in Old Town Holotus. Thank and you. again, you roast beans there as well. Yes. The coffee cupping, tell me about how things are going there. Fabulous. So that location is a full bakery. We have lots of different treats, like triple layer brownies, apple strudel. We also have an entire upstairs, which is our bed and breakfast. So you can rent that on Airbnb and go across the street to Flores Country Store and uh, go to a concert and then roll on back. 
that same day and then uh, <laughs> we love idea. to roast there as well all day. Yes, every day. such mm -hmm. a cute location. Yes, thank and you. again, the bakery options, you have a little bit more there as far as the bakery, right? Yes, exactly. So mm -hmm. that's our bagel, uh, our bakery location. This one is our bagel location. And what we love um, is that we have two in Holotus. So if you don't feel like unbuckling, you just come on by and we'll see you. <laughs> yes, and then giving back to the community. We touched on this a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. but it's so important to you guys. Tell me how you give back to local first responders. It really is. That's something uh, near and dear to our hearts. We have our roll call blend, which supports the local firefighters. We have the defend blend, which uh, supports our local police department. And then coming soon is the DD214, which supports our veteran community. So we absolutely love giving back to the community. Um, we have a lot of schools that we're doing some charity baskets and things like that nice. for, and then the local churches near us too. And discounts for first responders as well, yes, right? Uh -huh. Yes, can't yes. forget about those discounts. Yes, exactly. Okay, I need a straw, Jen, or Definitely Philip. Definitely. Yes, so let's get a straw sure. as we sample these fall drinks. You and again, it. this location, if you're familiar with Holotus, is near the Walmart, near the uh, high school as well, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. We are in the Marco's Pizza Strip Center there you go. and um, right next to the Walmart in Holotus. All right, two locations. I'm sure you're going to keep growing. Thank you, Jen. Better believe Thank it. you, Philip. Thank you so much. And I think, should I try to attempt to eat one of these guys? Oh, I would. Fiona, Mike? Yes. <laughs> you're going to help me, Jen? You better believe it. What yes. do you think, guys? Yes. yes. Should I attempt? Yes. yes. Line them up. Actually, just line <laughs> them up. This is, this, is okay. the, this is like spring break, but for the older, oh my the older oh, wow. generation. Yeah. Go for it. Line, line it up. Line them up. Okay. Uh, yep. You know I'm going to take a TV bite. Okay. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Don't do a TV bite. Oh. If you don't wind up with all that all over your Guys, face, you know. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Well, for more information on Texas Grounds Coffee Company, just head to our website, essaylive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there on your screen. All right, when SA Live continues, we're grilling for good. We go inside the local barbecue event that's benefiting local first responders. Always be and we hear a special performance of the new single from Jerry DeLeon and Southbound ahead of their release party happening tomorrow. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Texas native country recording artist Jerry DeLeon and Southbound stopped by the studio recently to share a special performance just for us. He's going to play his new single, 19, ahead of his official release party happening tomorrow at the 151 Saloon. More details right after. Take it away. Mistakes. And I'll 
hill that I raised And my priority Is now my family I never changed my ways But I cut my hair Now it's nine to five And I pretend to care And my tattoos have started fading I still want more English days Wonderful. Once again, you can catch Jerry DeLeon in Southbound at the official single release party, which is happening tomorrow at the 151 Saloon. They'll also be playing October 1st at the Lotus Bull Blast Rodeo as a headliner and October 4th at the Luz County Patio in Floresville. For more information on Jerry DeLeon and Southbound, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, click on the SC on SA Live tab, you know what to do, or you can just scan that QR code there on your screen. All right, still ahead, we learn about what we should be planting this fall and how to keep all those little nasty pests off there organically. Plus, more greenery. The San Antonio Fall Home and Garden Show is in town and is showcasing the nation's best home and garden products and services. What's up guys, my name is Jerry DeLeon, we're Southbound, you're watching SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there is nothing like a little or a lot of greenery to spruce up your home. And the San Antonio Fall Home and Garden Show is happening this Friday through Sunday at the Alamo Dome. And we are giving you a sneak peek today with a local business that is going to be there. And Stasha Welker and Jennifer Recker, co-owners of Plantdemic in New Braunfels. Welcome. All right, you're going to be down there showing off all your wares. What is the secret to good houseplants? I think the secret is going to be proper lighting, making sure that you have your plant in the right place, and then also a plant that fits your watering schedule. Whether you want to water every other day or if you want to water once a month, I think we have everything that suits everybody's, everybody's care needs. That's kind of a nice way of saying those of us that would forget to water the plants, you need one that's not going to go, feed me, help me, please. That's so, right. Dead. <laughs> what all different varieties do you have here? Because you've got, what, three, four dozen here, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> we do, and we, we typically have plants that are very easy to care for. We don't get into um, difficult plants that need a Millsbow cabinet that has humidity. Um, these are plants that are very obtainable by anybody. Um, we have something very simple like in front of you here. If you want something that you can water once a month, put it in any kind of lighting and will grow beautifully, there's your friend. If you love to water, we have this beautiful peace lily. You can water all to your heart's content and this baby will grow for you beautifully and flower for you. Okay, and then you have some over here, which is it's almost like a little tree. And you said this yeah. is good for, for home, office, whatever. And if you repot it, it's going to continue to grow, right? So this will take up the whole corner of the, home, of the Absolutely. room? Absolutely. Oh. It'll grow as tall as you'll let it. You can even cut it back and keep it shaped if you want to. But again, it, it's good in your home or your office, whereas a lot of these houseplants are actually going to thrive in an office environment yeah. as well. You just have to choose the right one. Okay, and that, that's a good way to kind of clean the air in your home too, right? Absolutely. Because they're Absolutely. sort of Mother Nature's air filters in a way. Absolutely, and it really makes a difference. What plants do you want to avoid besides the ones that if you ignore will die from lack of watering? <laughs> Uh, some plants that you really want to avoid, uh, just depending on your circumstances, if you have uh, cats or dogs, anything like that, you really want to avoid uh, philodendrons, um, the newest uh, poinsettias will be coming out. Those are also very poisonous, so I definitely recommend looking up what your um, what your needs are going to be and you know if you do have cats and dogs, please stray away from those because cats certainly do like to take a little chomp of okay. those plants and test them yes. out. <laughs> you're a fairly young business, just started in the pandemic like a lot did, did. and now you're in the Home and Garden Show. Must be yes. exciting. What can folks expect? We're so excited for the Home and Garden Show. You can expect a lot of different, a good variety of plants. 
something that can go anywhere in your home or office, and then even some outdoor plants. And we also hand make some macrame. So if you're talking, you know, kind of back to the pets, you know, yeah. kind of getting those plants off the ground, I think we have some good hanging options for you. And um, just lots get, of color. And, and a lot of green, because it just, like you said, yeah. it just kind of brightens up your day to have nice green plants it, in your it home. It does. Too, right? And she said her favorite plant, believe it or not, <laughs> which variety over there? This cute guy here, it's got some fabulous uh, uh, fly traps and we have some uh, pitcher plants as well. They're carnivorous plants, so they'll eat your flies and gnats. <laughs> You can find everything at the uh, San Antonio Home and Garden Show. Ladies, yeah. thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. You. Don't forget, San Antonio Fall Home and Garden Show is again happening this Friday through Sunday at the Alamo Dome. Tickets are now available online at San Antonio Fall Home and uh, FallHomeShow.com. Sasha, Jennifer, again, thank you very much. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right, we go grilling for good, a barbecue charity event that's benefiting local first responders. Plus, how to get your garden pests to bug off organically without using those harmful chemical products. Welcome back to Asset Lab. Well, yes, fall is officially here. It feels like it, so many folks are working in their gardens, but how do you keep the pests off of all of your fall harvest? Liz Campanella, co-owner of Uprooted Gardens, is here and she's going to show us uh, how to do that, what yes. to do and what to not do, right? Exactly. Okay. So yes. what do we have here? So we have a variety of brassicas, which we consider being broccoli and cauliflower. There's also Brussels sprouts, kales, cabbages. And those are all great things to be planting now. And then we also have just a really good blend of leaf lettuces. So you can go through and harvest and have a little salad bowl for yourself. And this you can plant now and then by seed, will it grow in a couple Absolutely. weeks or something? Absolutely. We do have, you know, we are in a good time for still seeding things like root crops, carrots, beets, leaf lettuces being one of those. But probably if you're wanting to do brassicas or some of the larger veggies, you probably want to be going to the nursery and get transplants right now. And so how can you t make sure you're taking care of them, keep the pests off them. Absolutely. You know, one of the big things that we always try and push for our clients is preventative spraying. And so, you know, we don't like to use a lot of sprays, and when we do, they are organic. And one of those being on the screen now, the little green guy that I was holding in my hand, that's a cabbage looper. And what those do is they feed on and they create these little holes that we see in the broccoli and the cauliflower right now. And they live on the undersides of the leaves. And so usually, best tool in your garden is your shadow and so if you come out every day and you're just looking and checking behind the leaves they're always going to be on the underside and they like to have little parties and so they'll be in little clusters sometimes they'll be lime green sometimes yellow but if you find those and they're kind of a lot and you don't want to be squishing them or relocating them a good spray is that one over there with the spray bottle it's called bt we it's a fancy name it's bacillus thuringiensis it's a bacteria that caterpillars eat and it kind of kills them from the inside but you don't want to be spraying this just willy-nilly. It's more of protecting the plants that you want to. And there are some, you know, caterpillars that we do want around. So if you see, you know, caterpillars like the black swallowtail or, or a monarch, you don't want to be spraying just to be spraying and killing everything in your garden. There's a lot of good bugs, too. Yeah, and you said there are a couple of different ways, because I know the one time when you uh, planted that little area in my backyard, you, yeah. see you put different plants next to each other, and they kind of help defend each other. Absolutely. You know, they can act as defendants and put off, you know, essential oils like the chrysanthemum flower and the marigolds, French marigolds. Oh. Um, not the African marigolds, but they will put off certain scents that will keep away bugs, but they sometimes also can serve as a sacrifice plant. So if we see these caterpillars and we don't want to be spraying, you can just relocate them to maybe one of the broccoli and not let them feed on all 10 in the garden. Because the good caterpillars will turn into butterflies Beautiful then. Beautiful butterflies. And, and we don't want to lose those things. Yeah. And of course, bees either. Did they Absolutely. ever kill bees, right? Yes, and you know, BT isn't a bacteria that's going to be killing bees or anything. It's very low toxic on the, the OMRI, which is Organic Materials Review Institute. Um, but what you really want to be doing is, you know, checking your plants as much as possible. Just spraying them and not looking at them isn't a good thing either. You always want to be with your plants. And it always starts with the soil, right? Healthy soil. And so when you're planting, Fertilizer is going to be a great um, thing to just liven up your root system and get all the microbes back in and strong in your soil. Don't just stick something in the ground. You got to prep that ground. First. Exactly, and okay. then you know, 
always plant a wet plant in wet soil, right? I remember that. Yes, I, yep. I remember that tip. And you, speaking of good tips, you have for the first three uh, people. Yes. Explain. So if you follow us on Instagram, or even if you don't, just drop into our DM and say that you saw us on SA Live. The first three people that do will get a garden coaching session with myself. Uh, for this fall season. Okay, and tell folks a little bit about what you do at Uprooted. Yeah, so at Uprooted, we're basically your end-all, be-all for everything edible. So if you want to be building a garden or you already have one, we do everything from building to planting and maintaining your vegetable vegetable garden. And it can be whatever level you want. So you can either come out and go, okay, do this, this, this. You can then do it and let somebody take care of it. Or like you always say, you come in like it's elves in the night and yeah. you'll do all the watering and weeding and everything else and it's Maintain like magic. It. Yeah, yeah, kick us out when you want to have the garden fun, but we'll be there for everything else. <laughs> okay, Yeah. wonderful. And again, organic, best way to go. Organic so is the, the only way that we go, for, grow for sure. So okay. definitely. Is there an herb of the year? You know, I believe, I don't want to misspeak, but I know there is an herb of the year. I believe it is blackberries, but that could have been last year. I actually need to double check on that. Not your Uncle Herb. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have an Uncle Herb, too. <laughs> I always like rosemary. It's kind of the old standby to cook with. So. All right. For Thank more you information much. on Uprooted Gardens, just head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, it smells good and it's for a good cause. We check out the Grilling for Good barbecue charity event. back to SA Live. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we told you about an event called Grilling for Good taking place out at Random Beer Garden in Bernie. Yes, it's a barbecue charity event in support of local responders. More than two dozen grilling experts from all over North America came out. My name is Al Frugoni and we are in Bernie, Texas. We are in this charity event, Grilling for Good. We are grilling for the first responders and we are doing an epic, epic event. I think and this has never been done before. We are cooking a whole steer. We are cooking cabritos, pigs, uh, chicken, prime rib, Texas style traditional barbecue. More than 25 influencers and chefs for around the country, also Canada and Mexico. They came here to cook with us and this is Amazing. Honestly, I, I can't believe all this talent here and helping for the first responders. So let's go and check it out. So we came out from SoCal, um, just out here enjoying this amazing weather out here with all of my friends. Uh, we do this is what we do. We do live fire cooking and uh, it's so cool to be a part of this. Try to give back a little bit to our first responders and to their families. So we're just out here having a blast little rattlesnake action. Fantastic. So uh, we hope that we can do this again in the future and uh, the honor is all ours. Thank you. What's going on everybody? My name is Mel Schmiller Jr. Dark Side of the Grill. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Ladies and gents, a 50 pound Wyagu bone and brisket done to perfection. <laughs> This is some of the stuff you're gonna see at these live fire events. It's absolutely incredible, the stuff that comes around, the skill that comes with all of the influencers that we brought up from Canada and all around the states. It's incredible. I came from Seattle, Washington for this open fire cookout and it has been tremendous. I'm Seattle Butcher's Wife on Instagram or TikTok and you're welcome to come follow me and my cooking journey. I grill all year round, but there's something about a sunny day and that crackling sound and the smell of charcoal in the air for a family barbecue. What you'll see at Seattle Butcher's Wife is a variety of different grills that I use and follow along my journey, give feedback on recipes, try them out, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. This particular gala supports future grilling for good so we could actually just give the gift of barbecue uh, to the Kendall County first responders and all the, all the residents of the Texas Hill Country. We firmly believe that this is something that needs to be continued um, and supporting first responders. It's the Texas way 
And so, you know, doing what we can do to help the people that actually support our community and keep us safe every day, it's the least we can do. You know, it speaks volumes about the kind of community in which we live. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of support in the, in the first responder community, police, fire, EMS here in Kendall County, and we're extremely thankful uh, for folks that put stuff together like this, thinking on behalf of us and supporting us. They got that big old steer back there. It's beef, and beef is beef, but I'm looking forward to having something that, that uh, has been cooked the way it's been cooked. We got together and decided to build a, a, something that's going to hold the whole cow and that's going to be easy to use. And you know, I went ahead and got to work on it, and that's where we're at now. Something like this is going to be a very slow, uh, kind of in, indirect but direct heat. Uh, it's it's going to, you know, you you can't put the flames to it. You want it to kind of cook from the inside out. It's my birthday weekend, so I wouldn't. This Happy is the birthday. best way ever. I would love to spend my birthday weekend. Yeah, this is a, that, this this a birthday is all, barbecue. This is what we're all about, right? Birthday barbecue. Fire, <laughs> fire and meat, man. So we're just having a ball out here. Yeah, you can find me on Arnie Tex on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Can a pellet grill cook some good old South Texas carne asada? Let's find out. Look us up. Keep the smoke light and make it work. Up next, how morbid obesity is affecting lives and it's being fought with a procedure close to home. Right now, furniture retailer Haverty's is celebrating more than 125 years of operations in Texas to commemorate the anniversary. There are 22 Texas showrooms. Um, they are partnering with Four Hands Art Studio out of Austin. They print, build, and assemble artwork, and they're offering a new art collection exclusive to Haverty's Texas. From Blue Bonnet to Big Bend, each of the six pieces honors life in the Lone Star State. This curated collection is now available exclusively in Haverty's Texas stores. For more information, just call 888-842-8378 or visit the website haverty's.com. Nearly all body systems are affected by morbid obesity. It's a disease that can cause a severe decline in health and a shortened lifespan. But Methodist Healthcare has a new weight loss center that helps patients get back on a healthy track. And here to tell us about it is Jennifer Group, Bariatric Program Manager at Methodist Hospital Metropolitan. Hey there, Jennifer. Hi. All right, so for those who may not know, tell us what bariatric surgery is and who might be a candidate. So bariatric surgery is a surgery that we provide to help morbidly obese people um, lose the excess weight, which will help with their long-term uh, comorbidities, such as diabetes, heart disease, um, arthritis, GERD. So we do this to provide services to help them have a better life. And you recently opened a new weight loss center in Atascosa. What does it offer to patients there? So we're really excited about our Atascosa Center. What it's doing is providing people throughout the Atascosa County um, opportunities to have everything that we offer here at Methodist Metropolitan at their front door. So we can do all their preoperative, postoperative services there. And the only time they would have to travel to San Antonio would be for surgery. So we'll get to do their behavior health as well as their dietary down there. So for someone, you know, walking into the center for the first time, kind of walk me through that experience. So the very first time you come in, you will meet our registered dietitian. Um, she will walk you through um, looking, learning what you eat, what you like to eat, and help you find better choices and get you prepared for what life would be before, uh, right after surgery. And then you will also meet our behavior health specialist at the same time. And we go through anything that you may have challenging um, to help better yourself after surgery. And then you will stay with our dietitian throughout the entire process up till surgery and then after surgery as well. And, you know, having somebody with you along the way, helping you along, you know, kind of helping you stay motivated, cheering you along, that can really make all the difference. And you even have support groups for patients, right? Yes, we do. It's really exciting. We actually have support groups. We do it once a month online. So anybody can join, anyone who just wants to curiosity to see what we talk about, family members, pre-surgical patients, post-surgical patients. It's just there as an outlet for them to see that they're not the only ones going through. We talk about everything from uh, 
imaging issues to challenges that they have with upcoming holidays, just whatever the group needs, we're gonna go through with them all the way through. The other thing that we offer is we do cooking classes. And so we take things that are in the community when it's fiesta, we talk about fiesta foods. When it's rodeo, we talk about rodeo food. Tailgate's going on right now. So we're getting ready to do our big tailgate uh, cooking class. So we just try to keep everything going so that way they know even after surgery, they can still participate with all of the family activities and not be um, singled out in any way. All right, Jennifer Group, Baratrick Program Manager at Methodist Hospital Metropolitan. Thank you so much for your time and all that information. There it is on your screen. Methodist Hospital Atascosa Weight Loss Center is located in Jordanton. For more information, just call 830-769-5947 or visit sahealth.com slash Atascosa. Tomorrow on SA Live, SA Live turns eight, so we should be in what, third grade now, I think, or something like that. It's a birthday bash. How you can throw an over-the-top party with a little help from a local cake company. And we can't forget about the decorations. A local party planner and balloon stylist takes our set back in time to the 80s for, more, for the celebration. All that and more tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. We asked you to give a shout out to your favorite local coffee shop because hey, it's National Coffee Day. Linda says Dutch Brothers Coffee. And Pleasant Perks Coffee House from Catherine. On the Grind from Michael. Sunshine House Coffee Shop, Lori, thank you very much. So many coffee shops out there. And so again, little time. Do you like just good <laughs> cup of black coffee or with all the you know this and that and so forth typically yeah no I like my coffee black just a yep. good mm -hmm. cup just of, the gasoline cup of it should be <laughs> indeed if you can see through it it's called tea so don't forget about what's brewing there and all that uh, the arabica beans straight from Guatemala check it out see you tomorrow